but I know a lot of you guys want to know where did it happen, who was it. I ain't gonna tell you the fucking names, of course that. But um, I can't get super detailed, but I can tell you just more or less. First of all, was it targeted towards me? No, it was not targeted towards me to answer your guys' question. Um, I've been on the West Side my whole life. Everybody knows me. So of course, if something like this happens, the motherfuckers didn't know me. It's just a random act in the West Side of San Diego shit happens. Nothing personal. It happens every day. Motherfuckers see motherfuckers wearing jewelry or see this, they try to pull something, you know. In this case, they were kids. They was like 19, 20 years old. You know, there's probably a couple other ones in the back seat. I didn't get to see where they were. What race were they? They was black. Uh, did I know them? No, I never seen them before in my life. Uh, but they was young. the kid that approached me was young. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead more or less and say it like this. I wore my jewelry tonight to show you guys. No, I did not lose my jewelry. That that won't happen easy like that. Like I said, I'll die. I'll die before I give my shit up to any man. But I'm going to go more into the story, not trying to sound cocky or all that, you know. But those who know me know I'm a real motherfucker. I don't play games. You know, a lot of people that you run to the city, you going to run into me. I'm really out there. Um, but anyways, enough said about that. I wore my jewelry tonight to show you guys. No, I did not lose my shit. I got my Rolex. My Rolex is at home. Um, was I wearing my jewelry that night? Yes, I was wearing my jewelry that night. Um, where did it happen? It happened on the west side. I was posted in front of a shop and uh, alone, on the phone, girls inside. The homies were on the other side. And uh, just random act in San Bernardino, bro. Who see me, pulled up on me, jumped off. Who approached me with the strap shaking and shit. I slapped that shit out of his motherfucking hand. I, he went like this, I slapped that shit. As I slapped it out of his fucking hand, he got nervous, fell back and bucked on me. Popped at me, he hit me like twice. I got hit with the nine right here, 40 right here, 40 right here. So I backed it, he hit me. Homie in the back seat jumped off, hit me, shot at me too. I ran aside, of course, I ain't fucking he man, I ain't gonna act like I'm all throw ashes on the shit. I ran my ass inside. I was slacking, the strap was inside of my girl's car. You know what I'm saying? I should have been on it, but I just pulled up for a second, got out, smoked a joint. I time it happened that quick. So that just gives you guys an idea of how dangerous San Bernardino is too. You motherfuckers that come to my city and underestimate it. You could be posted just like I was, and boom. And I'm a veteran out there. Everybody knows me. It can happen to anybody, bro, straight up. Um, did it shake me up? Hell no. Nah. You know, I handled it like a motherfucking G to, in my eyes. A lot of motherfuckers would have been, oh, hands up. I didn't put my hands up, bro. I looked up, gun was in my face, motherfucker was shaking. I slapped that shit. Boom, just re out of reaction, I looked up. Boom, fool. boom, 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 turn around, ran up in there. Other food bucking at me too. They pulled off quick. Walked back out, kicked the door, smashed myself to the local little hospital.